Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So if you've watched the channel for any length of time, you'll know that I'm compiling a series on sarcopenia because I think it's really important that we remain active and we prevent falls. Very sobering statistics for people in their 50s, 60s and beyond who fall, break a femur, break a hip and then never make it back out of hospital. Well, that's enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see how we can prevent or even reverse the condition of sarcopenia. Sarcopenia, also known as age-related muscle loss, is a common condition that affects over 10% of adults who are over the age of 50. While it decreases life expectancy and the quality of life, there are actions we can take to prevent and even reverse the condition. Although some causes of sarcopenia are natural consequences of aging, others are very preventable. There are links in the description below to the articles and studies I used to compile this presentation. The strongest way to fight sarcopenia is to keep your muscles active. Combinations of aerobic exercise, resistance training, balance and stretching can help prevent and reverse age-related muscle loss. At least two to four exercise sessions per week may be required to achieve the best results. All types of exercise are beneficial, but some are more beneficial than others. Let's take a look at those. Resistance training includes weightlifting, pulling against resistance bands, or moving a part of your body against gravity. When you perform this type of exercise, the tension on your muscle fibers results in growth signals that lead to increased strength. Resistance training also increases the actions of growth promoting hormones. These signals combine to cause muscle cells to grow and repair themselves, both by making new proteins and by turning on special muscle stem cells called satellite cells, which reinforce existing muscle. This kind of exercise is the most direct way to increase muscle mass and prevent its loss. A study of 57 adults aged between 65 and 94 showed that performing resistance exercises three times a week increased muscle strength over a 12 week period. In this study, exercises included leg presses and extending the knees against resistance on a weight machine. Sustained exercise that raises your heart rate, including aerobic exercise and endurance training, can also control sarcopenia. Most studies of aerobic exercise for the treatment or prevention of sarcopenia have also included resistance and flexibility training as part of a combination exercise program. These combinations have been consistently shown to prevent and even reverse sarcopenia, although it is often unclear whether aerobic exercise without resistance training would be as beneficial. One study in women found that five days per week of either cycling, jogging or hiking increased their muscle mass. The women started with 15 minutes of these activities per day, increasing to 45 minutes over a 12 month period. Walking can also prevent and even reverse sarcopenia and it's an activity that most people can do without the need to travel to a specific fitness facility. A study of 227 Japanese adults over 65 years of age found that six months of walking increased their muscle mass, particularly in those who had low muscle mass to begin with. The distance each participant walked was different, but they were encouraged to increase their total daily distance by 10% each month. Another study of 879 adults over the age of 60 found the faster walkers were far less likely to have sarcopenia. Consuming protein signals your muscle tissue to build and to strengthen. As people age, their muscles become more resistant to this signal, so they need to consume more protein to increase muscle growth. One study found that when 33 men over the age of 70 consumed a meal containing at least 35 grams of protein, their muscle growth increased. The amino acid leucine is particularly important for regulating muscle growth. Rich 
Natural sources of leucine include meat, fish and eggs. Another study found that a group of younger men only required 20 grams of protein per meal to stimulate muscle growth. And a third study had seven men over the age of 65 take 15 grams of an essential amino acid supplement per day. These are smaller building blocks of protein, but this also resulted in muscle growth. Vitamin D deficiency is related to sarcopenia, although the reasons why are not wholly understood. Taking vitamin D supplements can increase muscle strength and reduce the risk of falling. These benefits have not been seen in all studies, possibly because some research volunteers may have already been getting enough vitamin D. The best daily dose of vitamin D for preventing sarcopenia is currently unclear. But if you are over 50, I recommend that you get a blood test. And if you are either deficient or insufficient, try to expose yourself to more sun or start to take a supplement of vitamin D3. Make sure the supplement's got vitamin K2 so the calcium that our body produces is kept in our bones and our teeth and away from our soft tissue, such as our blood, our kidneys and our hearts. No matter how old you are, consuming omega-3 fatty acids via either seafood or supplementation will increase your muscle growth. A study of 45 women found that a daily 2 gram fish oil supplement combined with resistance training increased muscle strength more than resistance training without a fish oil supplement. Part of this benefit may be due to the anti-inflammatory benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. However, research has suggested that omega-3s might also signal muscle growth directly. Creatine is a small protein that is normally made in our liver. Although your body makes enough to prevent you from becoming deficient, creatine in the diet from either meat or a supplement may also benefit your muscle growth. A group of several studies investigated how taking 5 grams of a creatine supplement a day positively affected 357 adults with an average age of 64. When these participants took creatine, they got more benefits from resistance training compared to when they performed the resistance training and took no creatine. It is extremely doubtful that creatine will help you build muscle without the exercise. But remember, this exercise only needs to be brisk walking for maybe three to five times a week. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Sarcopenia then, a condition that we can get in our 50s, 60s and beyond can have an effect on our lifespan and can definitely have an effect on our health span. The good thing is there are things that we can do to prevent and also reverse it. At the lowest level, resistance training only needs to be a 30 to 60 minute brisk walk, maybe three to five times a week. Also consider taking in the right amount of calories and protein. And I know I'm gonna get a hammering of the vegans in the comments below, but the best source of protein appears to be meat and fish. Also consider possibly taking supplements such as omega-3 and creatine. But it's important that as well as taking the supplements that you do actually exercise. It's all well and good having a good diet and making sure you get a good night's sleep. But if you're not combining and reinforcing this with some kind of resistance training, then it may all be for naught. Well, that's it for today. I'll put a link in the description below to the playlist of all the other sarcopenia videos in this series. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.